yard line. Stump Mitchell is in there, number 30. And this is Wayne Morris, the fullback, over the left side. And Wayne Morris picks up about five yards out over the 25-yard line. Out of the shotgun now, Neil Lomax, third down and about seven. Lomax with a lot of time and a lot of room to run. Neil. He's got a wide open field. And Safe. wisely hook slides out over the 45 for a St. Louis first down up near the 48-yard line. Tied for the lead in the NFL with receptions after seven games, and Lomax goes right to him, Roy Green. And Green struggles to the 45-yard line of the Giants. It'll be a pickup of seven. He's in the arms of Mike Dennis, and you have got to believe that Mike Dennis is going to get quite a workout. Stump Mitchell, the single setback. The single back offense puts the pressure on the defensive secondary. Mitchell with a good move, breaks it down to the 35-yard line, goes down in the arms of Terry Kennard, who is starting a free safety for the Giants, moving to the outside. Look at that little trick here. Uh, Mitchell once again, he is tough to bring down. He's inside the 20 to the 18-yard line for another St. Louis first down, and teams have been running against the Giants and running well. Brian Kelly made the stop there, the 18-yard line. That's Pat Tilly in motion. Stump Mitchell once again, and D. Hardison and Leonard Marshall were both there. There'll be a loss of a couple of yards on that. He could be back. Third down and 12. He wants Taylor on the blitz. He doesn't get the move into the quarterback as Lomax gets it to Schumann, but a flag is down. He maneuvered. Well, Lawrence, he loves it out. Number 63, offense, third down. He loves it outside where he can get those halfbacks trying to block him inside. He can't run over those guards. And Third down, a bundle, and Lomax will work from the shotgun. Blitz is on again. Lomax fires to Tilly. He'll be short of the first down at the 17-yard line, and we'll see the field goal unit. Kenny Perrin gets it down. Adonio gets it up smartly. And the Cardinals are on the scoreboard first. 8.57 remaining in the first quarter. The Cardinals, their opening drive, settled for three. Third down and five for the Giants. Shotgun. Rutledge back. Rutledge fires. The man is wide open. Right there. Right on target. That's Floyd Eddings. Now, he was just activated today, and he represents most of the speeds that the, Giant has, the Giants have on the field, a former Jordan. Yeah. Big pickup that gives the Giants a first down. 41-yard line of the Cardinals, and this is Butch Wolfo, and he's tripped up. Good defensive play. Coming up quickly was Lee Nelson, the strong safety, and there will be a loss of about three yards. Missler in motion. The blitz is on. Rutledge reads it, has to get rid of it. Rutledge was really pounded. He lead the league in that particular stat. Look at that. Was off the side of his foot. A flag is down. Jennings down, and the Giants will get a first down. And Bob Harris, the linebacker that came in and really unloaded on Dave Jennings, and that's a no-no. A -no. referee tonight, Bob McElwee. McEl see, Junior coming in from the right side. He's not going to be the one. That, I don't see how he. You know what? Jennings just kicked out the side of his foot. Or Bob, oh, Bob Harris would have blocked that kick. Just have not been able to get it in once they get down close. It's third down and nine as they mark the ball at the 38-yard line. Rutledge had a man wide open coming oh. across the middle. It was Carpenter, but it was batted away by Dave Galloway in motion for the cards. And this is Stump Mitchell. Boy, he's finding big oh, holes on the right it. side. He just exposed for nine yards. Out close to the 23-yard line. Go tonight. This is Wayne Morris, hard-working fullback up there trying to get the first down. He'll be very close. First down and 10, the ball close to the 25-yard line for the Cardinals. Oh. Picked off. Oh. Picked ah. off and down the sideline. That's Bill down. Courier, and he did not step out of bounds. Bill Courier came all the way across the field that time following Green, who was in motion. With Houston, went to New England, and now with the Giants. He's been... Seven years of the league, and he gets his first touchdown tonight. The Giants take the lead. And tonight, we are watching the rookie out of Eastern Kentucky. Sliding catch by Bird. Gets to his feet. 
And a good move by the youngster as he gets out over the 40-yard line. It's over first and 10. The ball at his own 40-yard line. Card Cardinals trailing 7-3. to three. Man is open. And it's Roy Green. Couldn't turn it up. There's an athlete. A rookie. On first down, Lomax quickly to the air and fires it. Gets it in to Pat Tilly. And this is the kind of catch and the kind of pattern they like to use Tilly on. He'll come down with the football. Second down and 10. Lomax tries to get it to Roy Green. And we may have pass interference against the Giants. He was working against Mark Haynes. And a flag went down. Yeah. Second down, goal to go. Stump Mitchell, left side. Gets to the outside, and Stump Mitchell carries it into the end zone. That was a good move, Stump. That's north-south, running north-south. That is going out on the left side. Courier, 29, takes a shot. Made a real nice move there. That was Andy Hedden that knocked Courier off. Still plays the run excellently. Second down and eight. Blitz is on, and Lomax will go down. They're going to have to do that. Lars Taylor. Taylor. Let me get him a little further back. Blitz again. And Lomax delivers and picked off. Brad Van Pelt. What good timing, Frank. To the 30-yard line. Off the fingertips of Pat Tilly into the arms of Brad Van Pelt. It's in motion. Bradley. Underneath the wolf off, he can get six easy. I think he is. Well, not too easy, but he gets it. No. No, they take uh -huh. it. Mark it inside the one-yard line. And Rutledge tries to move behind J.C. Turner on the right side. Oh, no. Cardinals are saying no way. Sets up on the left side. Hello, Ralph Carpenter. Giants touchdown. And the Giants retake the lead. 33 remaining in the first half. Rob Carpenter puts the Giants ahead once again. Oh, Ball near the 33-yard line. The Cardinals Mitchell slips, but he saw Bill Currier coming in on the blitz. Tried to turn it inside. He goes down. He'll lose four yards. High kick. It'll be short. And that ball hit a giant, I believe. I thought it hit one of the Cardinal players. It was there. a Cardinal. Thrown yeah. 44-yard line. Rob Carpenter, the single setback. Rutledge keeps him in. The block has the time, and he fires. It's complete to Mullady. And Mullady inside the 30-yard line. He'll have a giant first down. Pass remaining. Jeff Rutledge looking over a second down and seven. Oh, from behind, Jeff Rutledge is hit by Bob Harris, a surprisingly good eighth-round draft pick out of Auburn. He's one of the reasons the Cardinals think they can move Junior to the inside because Bob Harris has turned into quite a performer. He... That makes... If he was touched, they'll mark it right there, and he was. At the 44-yard line, it was big Dave Galloway. Rutledge went down, and while he was down, Galloway put a finger on him, and that's all he needed to do. And now, so that's the story at halftime from Butch Stadium in St. Louis, Missouri. The Giants over the Cardinals, 14 to 10. We'll be able to have interceptions and most of their turnovers have come deep in their opponent's territory on first and 10. We watched Rob Carpenter over the left side, guard in the middle, and let Bob Harris work out there. Only 205 pounds. I think that might be why they had some hesitations. Good protection. Second down and six, and Rutledge fires into Missler. Three plays. That's it. Much crisper. I'm to the crisp. Carpenter, and yeah, he's always crisp. Carpenter once again gets the call on the first down, and he once again he gets six yards. It'll be down and four. The Giants. Rutledge. As a man underneath is Ernest Gray, and Ernest Gray will have what appears to be a first down out over the 46-yard line. Carpenter. And just a little like Franco Harris, he slows it up, he looks, he pecks along until he finds a little gap, and then he just fires through it, and Carpenter has six more yards. Down and four. The ball inside. The Cardinal 49, the blitz is on. Wolfo. And Wolfo 
turns the corner and gets the first down. Good running by Wolfolk at their own 23-yard line. Opening moments here in the second half. Carpenter. This time, Carpenter held to about four yards inside the 40 of the Cardinals near the 38-yard line. The screen. Rutledge. And Rutledge has the... Gets the completion, gets it out there to Butch Wolfolk, and Bob Harris was all over Wolfolk, and he gets another giant first down. He held it until he knew he could deliver. Wolfolk right side, and Wolfolk with power running inside the 25, and this time Wolfolk on first down will get six yards inside the 25-yard line. With the football, almost half of this third quarter. Bob Tucker, single setback. Wolfolk, split to the left. Carpenter, he wants the first down, and the flags that we've seen throughout the first half are all over the field. As if one of them did do it, they threw three flags right at old Malcolm Scott. It's understood, Coach. Holding Giants. Third down and 14. Cardinals dealing with the four-man front. And that pass in and out of the fingertips of uh, number 88, Floyd Eddings, the speedster out of California. Good defense there by Cedric Matt. Pass thrown a little high, and we are going to see Ali Haji Sheik, if he ever has. Oh. And Bright is back for the Giants. Whoa! Uh-oh. Birdsong gets it off, but it's a poor kick. And that ball could have been snapped out of the end zone for a safety. Flags it down at the line of scrimmage. And it could have been the Cardinals released too many men downfield before... Carl Birdsong had pulled the ball down and worked out the punt. That's the call against the Cardinals. Well, we'll the Giants to turn that down. They're going to have great field position. You know, we were wondering why they didn't go for a field goal. It's apparent that they have the confidence in their defense over the left. On a kicking team, illegally downfield. Penalty to time. First down. Their troubles throughout the first half of the NFL season. Getting it in once they got down here. Back up on the left side. And Carpenter, good running. Flag is down as uh, Carpenter is down at the 20-yard line. Go. Holding, number 59, offense, first down. That's the center, Humphrey. And I'll tell you, Bill Parcells has really exercised. Melody in motion. Runley's short roll. This is Moat back in the ball game. He'll pick up about five is all. Third down, 14. Rob Carpenter with a fine run. He gets... Inside the 25-yard line yeah, to, to the 23, and now we'll see Ali Haji Sheik. Yep. Let's tie it a giant record by Danello in 81. This went from 40 yards out. He can break the giant record, and he does just that. 13 consecutive field goals. Ali Haji Sheik puts it through the upright. So despite the strategy, the Giants, because of errors and penalties, they have to settle for three. That's Pat Tilly in motion. Full blitz, and boy, Neil Lomax goes down. He had no shot. The blitz was on, and hustling in there was Larry Flowers. He was not even touched. He almost beat Lomax. And is beating the ball in here. This time, get protection, end over end, Bright on the dead run. And Bright gets to the 40-yard line. The Giants in good field position. Jeff Rutledge, not startling statistics, but he has the team in he ahead at the moment. Rob Carpenter has been doing much of the work on the ground for the Giants here in the third quarter. I have the ball marked inside the 45-yard line of the Giants. Floyd Eddings, a speedster in there. He'll try the reverse. He never even got the ball. There we go. Sayonara. This will be six. That was Denny a Perrin. The reverse attempt to Eddings. He never had control of it. And Denny Perrin, we talked about him earlier. He made a game-saving interception a week ago against Tampa Bay, and he has brought this game to within one point of a tie. Pull together. Now here he is, a second-year man, Alabama. Third-round draft pick a year ago. As a starter, as a rookie, he had a great year last year. Jeff Rutley's going all the way tonight. Cardinals showing the blitz, and now they get out of it. Rutledge in the air to Eddings, and Eddings was really popped, and he stays down. It's Cardinals, you can just sense the change. They are fired up football team, and they almost blocked Jennings' punt. Here comes Steve Bird. He's got some room. There, and Bird almost popped on. 
And nevertheless, he gets out to the 46-yard line, and a flag is down upfield. And here's the call. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 58, defense, before the kick, first down. Dave Ahrens, the foul occurring before the kick, personal foul, automatic first down. The Giants maintain possession. The crowd doesn't like it. 11. Pressure again on Rutledge. He gets it out of the flat to Wolfo. And a pickup of only four yards. It'll be third down and seven. And again, Bob Harris, good coverage. And the Cardinals now showing a little more momentum. They are really hitting out there. And the fans have kind of waking up a little bit. And good shot getting it to the tight end. That's Mullady. And Mullady will have the yardage for the first down. Right at midfield. Red leads back. The blitz is on. Good pickup. And we're going to have defensive pass interference, I'm fairly sure, on the part of Wayne Smith against Ernest Gray. As Wayne's lying on top of Ernest, he says, you mean me? And he knows it's coming at him again. Uh-oh. Good move. Gets it off, and he gets it to Malcolm Scott, the rookie from LSU, who's had his problems tonight, but he'll give the Giants a first down goal to go. Terrific job of Jeff Rutledge that time, under a lot of pressure, finding somebody open. He was looking for a friend. Defensive pass interference. And down goes Rutledge. Another blitz. Lee Nelson, the strong safety. And Lee Nelson not even touched. And this was fairly close, 29 yards. And Ali Hajishik unties the football game. The Giants go back out on top by three. They would have much preferred to get the touchdown. That's been their problem this season. We'll be back. Lomax. Oh, oh, goodness. Not too much of a drop on that. And Brad Van Pelt is there. It's 38. Neil Lomax trying to get something happening against a tough Giant defense. Doug Marsh. The tight end, short of the first down, but not by much as he moves out over the 45-yard line to the 46. Second down and two. Stump Mitchell. He's got the first down, and he's just over midfield in Giant territory. Remaining in the fourth quarter. First and ten, Pat Tilly right in front of Mark Haynes, and Haynes could not have been there any more quickly than he was, the all-pro cornerback for the Giants, but nevertheless, Tilly gets... Seven yards and a. Stump Mitchell. Look at Stump. And Mitchell gets the first down, and he's down close to the 36 yard line. And keep in mind, the Cardinals have a fine field goal kicker in their own right, Neil O'Donoghue. He's very good from way out. Motion man, Doug Martin. Stump Mitchell. Look at Mitchell. He'll have another first down inside the 25-yard line. you got to like this little man. He has played hurt all night long. Lomax quickly calls timeout. And that's where Roy Green is. Ah, uh, yeah. Lomax. And a oh, oh. violent collision. It may have come too early on the part of Terry Kennard. Courier and Kennard both hit Pat Tilly. A flight to Torum. Doug Marsh, the tight end, is also in there. They like to go to him down close. Lomax. And this time, good pressure. Lawrence Taylor is in there, along with Terry Kennard. Part of whether Lomax tried to get it to Morris. It'll be fourth down, and we... We may have it for overtime. overtime. OT, perhaps 54 seconds remaining. And the Giants now, they use that timeout. They have one timeout remaining. Well, he haven't played as much as Jeff has over the past few years. A two-minute offense is something that takes a little bit of work. The Wolf Hulk underneath. He gets to the 38-yard line, a pickup of seven, hit there by EJ Jr. To be a pass play, obviously, to kill the clock. Dudley gets it to Gray, and Gray up there close to the first down, stopping the clock with 22 seconds. It's an overtime, and those things are hard to explain. 
Boom. And fired and is complete. It goes to Eddings. Second year man out of California with the blazing speed. And now the Giants have used their timeout. They have no more timeouts. They have 15 seconds. And they know. Top of your screen. Rutledge will hang it up there. He'll be looking for the foul. The oh, thank goodness. In and out of the hands of E.J. Jr. Six seconds remaining. A little Tom Dempsey. He set years ago for New Orleans. Not close. And we will go to overtime. Tied at 20. Oh, boy. And, of course, in overtime, there'll be a three-minute break. And then we will go into action. Each team will have two timeouts. Look at the coin toss now. The captain's coming out onto the field. See Big Dan Deardorff, the captain. We haven't seen him play tonight. Let's see if he's good at coin tosses. He was. So the Cardinals will be receiving. They have won the first part of the overtime. We'll be back with that. after this message and a word from our local stations. There was a gain of a yard. It's second down and nine. Lomax. Got Mitchell. And Mitchell. Tough cookie. He is. He is. Close to the first down. Lomax. And he can run to the first down. He did. It. Let's slide once again out of the 45-yard line. First down, Cardinal. You know, he hooks slid there. It looked like he slid right by the guy. The guy didn't touch him. He could have got up running. You know? <laughs> 47-yard line is the first down. Green. Look out. Corey Green. And he's down there for another Cardinal first down. They're on a drive. And he hit defensively for there for the Giants, along with the Jim Burke. Second down and 10. Randy Love. Andy Love gets about four. I think the Cardinals now are thinking field goal. But they're still quite a ways out. What breeze there is has now turned around. It appears that as though it might help the Cardinals place kick. And he'll a single setback. Uh -huh. That Tilly was open. He and was Lomax open. Get it to him. Uh -huh. And now what will be the decision? Will we see O'Donohue or will we see the punter? Fourth down and seven. And I'll tell you, they're having a hard time making up their mind. O'Donohue talking it over with Jim Hannafin, and I guess they decided. Let's give it a whirl, he said. It is better advised to bring on the punter, and they get Carl Birdsong out. Thanks. And they're there again. That's close to a safety, and now Jennings wants yeah. the kick from deep in his own end zone, and the Cardinals... If everything goes like it should go, they're going to have great field position. That didn't make much sense. No. I th Cardinals are taking run back. Jennings does not get a good kick. And it does not take a giant bounce. And the Cardinals are going to have the ball near the 35-yard line. Maybe they will put it in the air. Randy Love. Nothing doing on the left side. Line of scrimmage, and that's it. Right up the middle. All countless. Now it's Willard and Harrell and Randy Love. Harrell 39, Love 40. There's the setback. Third down and 11 for the Cardinals. That's what they want. Something in close. And that's short of the got. first down. I think we'll see O'Donoghue as Mike Schumann. No way. No chance. No left and everything else that was wrong. The Giants will get the football back, and they'll get it at their own 27-yard line. Neither one of these teams deserve to win, so maybe Justice <laughs> with the veil. Down in three, they have the football near their own 35-yard line. Rutledge was going to be a quarterback draw. It did not fool a whole lot of folks, and Rutledge will lose a couple. Benny Perrin was on the blitz, and he collects Rutledge, and the Giants will have to punt. Cardinals at their own 11-yard line. Wayne Morris. And Wayne Morris is good for about seven. Well, the Cardinals know what to do when they're back on their team. Right. But he was obviously in pain. Wayne Morris again. 
This time the Giants close it off. And Moore short of the first down. It'll be third down and about a yard. Wayne Morris. Third down and one. Randy Love. And Randy Love has the first down. He's out of the 25-yard line. Uh, they're working him outside now. First down and 10, the Cardinals. Nobody out there looking at Randy Love. And Randy Love taken out of bounds by Mike Dennis. Short of the first down by about a yard. They're getting concerned about time now. Romack. Picked off. Mike Haynes. Mark Haynes has it. Went the wrong way. Yeah, I think. Still going the wrong way. Yeah. That's really not a very good defensive play by a good defensive player. And some flags are going to fall. Mark, they will go in the record book as a tie. Mister and Mister out over the 45, up to the 47, short of the first down by a couple. And Carpenter gets the first down. There's your first down. Carpenter, the ball carrier. Dudley, no first down. Short of the first down to Malcolm Scott, the rookie. So it's going to be fourth down and about four. a big opening on the right side and he works it out for eight yards to the 25 yard line we have two timeouts Randy Love and he breaks the tackle stops the clock as he goes out of bounds inside the 41 yard line Casey Merrill there chasing him out 16 yard pickup to say they're going without a huddle and they had the clock stop I admit this one I don't understand <laughs> they had called it I guess they will go through with it here's Randy Love well, Randy Love with another big pickup to the 45-yard line of the Giants. Well, 23 remaining in overtime. One timeout for the Cardinals. Pat Tilly. And Tilly gets the first down. He gets out of bounds, stops the clock, and the Cards are in what could be construed a field goal position right now. Yep. Romack, touchdown. Roy Green, he steps out of bounds. That was a timing pattern. Pressure on Neil Lomax. And it was a sprint with Roy Green against all pro Mark Haynes, and it was Green the winner. 19-yard <laughs> attempt. Neil O'Donoghue. Well, he missed it. I don't I believe, can't it. believe it. O O'Donoghue <laughs> has you. missed from 19 yards. I, I tell you, I'd have went. Well, forget what I'd have done. <laughs> the Giants will get the ball back at the 20-yard line. Uh -huh. 103 remaining in overtime. The Giants have no timeout. <laughs> that leads. Intercepted. Intercepted. Donnie Hughes will get another chance. It's Lionel Washington. And Washington is going to give Donahue another opportunity. It's I don't believe what's happening. 43-yard attempt. He's, oh, no. Poor baby. And he misses right once again. And we have 20 seconds remaining in overtime. And we are heading for a five-quarter tie. Well, the, the good news is there are 20 seconds left. Overtime. <laughs> the lights never went out here. <laughs> they never came on. Here we go. Let's give Donald Donahue one more chance. I don't think he can reach it from there. Well, for the first time this today, over through. This game is history. Time is run out in overtime. <laughs> we'll go into the book, the 2020 tie. And again, there have been some bizarre happenings tonight. There could be a drop in attendance for next week's game. There'll be a lot more bags. 